Hello and welcome to the third episode of the Cheese and Alien show. Again, I am the alien and I'm happy to be back with you guys. Um, first to start off, I wanted to give, sh give our shout outs for the week. Um, my first shout out is very important and it's going to Speed Channel. Thank you so much for the interviews that you do. Thank you so much for the coverage that you do. It's so wonderful to be able to watch practice, watch the qualifying, and all of those things. And also during those events that you are able to go down and talk to some of the drivers. I'm very happy that you um, talk to drivers that usually other channels don't talk to. I saw interviews with Landon Castle. I saw interviews with um, Johanna Long, you know, she's not Danica Patrick. <laughs> so it's wonderful that you're talking to some of those drivers that, you know, not a lot of people hear about or really pay enough attention to, like they should. So I just wanted to give a special shout out to Speed Channel for all the wonderful work that you do. And shout out to Johanna Long. You had a great race, a great race on Saturday. It was so wonderful to see you do so well. And also to Jennifer Jo Cobb, the two females, two other females in the nationwide race that aren't talked about as, in, as much as Danica Patrick is. It's wonderful that Danica's in the sport. It's a great thing to bring more fans to NASCAR. But let's not forget these two that have been with us for a co at least a couple years. So, um, so again, special shout outs to Johanna Long and Jennifer Jo Cobb. It's love seeing you girls in the sport and I'm with you all the way and also cheeses too. We cheer for you all the time. Another shout out goes for Trevor Bade. He had a great great gr another great race this weekend um, in Las Vegas so it was so wonderful to see you with the fourth place finish and now because you're doing so well you have sponsorship for Bristol so we get to see you on track in Bristol no you weren't it wasn't originally in the plan so um, love you Trevor so excited to see you back on the track um, and especially We've got a triple threat for Roush Boys as far as the shout out. We had Trevor Bain. Now we have Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Amazing, amazing, amazing race on Saturday. That was awesome, and I'm so glad. And Cheese also, especially Cheese. Very happy that you made it to Victory Lane. It's just so wonderful to see all that talent that you have and that it pays off. And you beat, you know, you even talked about it yourself. You beat Mark Martin for it. He is a wonderful, wonderful racer, and it was just fun to see that battle at the end between you and Mark Martin. So just happy to see you back in victory lane, Ricky. Um, and then our third Roush shout out is for Greg Biffle. Duh, Biff! It was you have been so consistent all year, and it's just so wonderful to see. Um, Cheese and I are very happy with our Roush boys, and um, Mr. Biffle, you are Mr. Consistent. Mr. Consistent. Three third place finishes in a row. Top of the point standings. You are on your way to the chase, and we are so happy for you. Um, so that's pretty much it for our shout outs this week. Next, we want to talk about fantasy, as the cheese told you last week. We do have a fantasy battle going on between the two of us. Unfortunately, she won this week. Uh, but it was very close, and neither of us were real impressive with our fantasy points. And again, that's between ESPN.com and also with um, NASCAR.com, with their um, Fantasy Live, the live leaderboard, and also with face-offs and... Um, starting starting a streak, which she got to start a streak this week. I still have yet to start my streak. So those of you that do watch, you haven't joined Fantasy, I highly suggest you do. It's so much fun and, you know, it's just a blast for me, especially for me going against my best friend, the Cheese. So if you have a friend that you could battle against, that would be fun. Otherwise, just do it for funsies. 
it's great. Um, next, I want to talk about, <laughs> I know I criticized, I, I don't know if criticizes the word, talked about Clint and his singing ability or somewhat lack thereof in the first episode. I, wanted, <laughs> I just wanted to bring up DW, Mr. Daryl Waltrip. And I can't remember exactly the context of, of it, but he was um, singing, Go into the chapel and we're gonna get married. <laughs> it was fun to hear. Uh, DW, you're another one. Please, please, please don't quit your day job. <laughs> They're singing. It's probably just very fun for you to do, but just don't quit your day job just to just for singing. I love you. I love you. I do, <laughs> do want to say that. Um, next, I'm kind of going to get to the negative part of the show. Next, I'm going to talk about Brian Scott. Brian Scott was definitely a driver I got to meet up at Chicagoland, got his autograph, was very wonderful. Um, and kind of want to bring Brian up because uh, the cheese brought up last week about all the facial hair in NASCAR. And Brian Scott has become another one that over, I think, if I remember correctly, towards the end of last season, he started growing the facial hair. And then this season, he's pretty much got a full beard going on and so use another one as far as facial hair goes and then also Brian Scott I love you okay I love I love a lot of drivers you're another one that I really enjoy watching but it appears from these first three races that you've had this season I hate to claim you to be the next Steve Wallace of the Nationwide Series it seemed every at least every other race last year, last season. Steve Wallace was in a wreck and it appears you're going along the same path. I know you're being aggressive, you're going for going for the wins, that's great, but I just don't want you to <laughs> get that reputation that you seem to be getting with so far this season. Next I want to talk about a lot of people's favorite driver and again I talked about him in the first episode Mr. Dale Earnhardt Jr. Again, we're not fans. I do want to clarify that. And to I want to clarify kind of why. And it especially made it apparent, he especially made it apparent this week dealing with Mark Martin on the track and their little bump in that they had. Um, Junior's comments after that this week talking about Mark Martin coming up in his lane. He, Mark Martin knew that Junior was the faster car, but yet he pulled up in front of him, and so he gave him a tap because he didn't appreciate it. And it just sounds like you're being a big baby, pretty much, to put it flat out there. You're being a baby. You're whining. You, uh, yes, you did have a fast car. You did have a fast car. I will give you that. And but just doesn't mean that everyone just moves out of your way because you are Dale Earnhardt Jr., the most popular driver. I'm sorry, that doesn't give you any credit for having people just move out of the way, parting the Red Sea for Dale Earnhardt Jr. Sorry, doesn't work. And I guess the one, and another thing that I did notice, in a lot of his interviews I have noticed he doesn't look at the camera. If you want to engage, if you really care about your fans, you would pretty much act like you're talking to them face to face. Show them that you really appreciate the fans in the sport. And that's what I really love about all those, again, the Roush boys. They always, pretty much always make a point to, if they have sunglasses on, it may be a bright sunny day. They remove those sunglasses, put them on top of their, on their hats, so that we can see their face. They make that a point, and I absolutely love that they do that. It shows that, you know, they know that we're out there. They know that the fans are out there, and so it's just wonderful to have that. And so he's con Junior is constantly to me. He's looking at the ground. He's looking somewhere else. He's never looking at the camera. You know, never not engaging with the fans. And then also, 
I can hardly understand anything the man says in his interviews. He's constantly mumbling and he says the same things over and over again. He says this one phrase that, you know, has just doesn't even completely give us a clear idea as to what's going on. So I just, he might gain more respect from me. I don't know about the cheese. He might gain slightly more respect from me if he were to look at the camera, really engage with the fans since we help create the sport and um okay not necessarily create but we're helping to sustain the sport and i just wish he would be able to make it clear that he appreciates the fans that he's able to enunciate so we can understand him so that's my biggest beef to all you junior junior fans you can you can cheer for whoever you want i'm not dissing you or anything for loving Junior, but that's a big reason why I and also the Cheese um, are not huge Junior fans. And then lastly, we had news this past week about a certain someone coming back to NASCAR for the Michael Waltrip racing team. I just want to give a special warning, kind of as a farewell. Good luck, guys, out on the track. Be careful of that other Michael Waltrip car that's going to be out there for seven races this year. I think it's seven. It might have been six. I'm not exactly sure, and I apologize for that. But everyone just be careful of Brian Vickers, wonderful racer. But, again, kind of like Stephen Wallace last year, not very safe <laughs> on the track. Um... So that's kind of this week's episode of the Cheese and Alien Show. And I do want to point out, I am wearing the white and the red for the cheese. I was able to go to the March Madness and watch watch um, the Wisconsin Badgers win, which was wonderful to see, and was able to watch Ben Brust. Bruce, I apologize if I'm mispronouncing your last name, but it was wonderful to see you perform another NASCAR fanatic and so um, it was just wonderful to see that happen and um, it's wonderful to watch this March Madness it's exciting I know it's not necessarily NASCAR related but I know a lot of drivers are following it a lot of fans are also college basketball fans so um, again there's Wisconsin Badgers you did a fantastic job I'm not I will admit I'm not a huge fan, but you know, I will support my Big Ten teams. I will support them. So, good job, Badgers. Keep on going. You're doing great job. Ben, it was wonderful to see you in the game today. So, um, that's this week of the Cheese and Alien Show. And I hope you come back next week to see the cheese and what we have to um, talk about from the races in Bristol. I have a feeling she's going to have a lot to talk about since it's Bristol, baby. So we'll see you next week.